Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set a waypoint here and fly to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our magnetic heading. We're not going to worry about that right now. Turn that off so we don't have to worry about that. And we've got our, our heading now of zero degrees. And that would be magnetic. We can kind of page through our screens here. Okay, so we're going to go down to our GPS, and we're going to go in and search for an airport that we want to go to. We're going to fly to Reno, so we're going to type in K-R-N-O, enter. So we can see Reno, we're going to select that. We can see all the airport data to verify that's where we want to go. We're going to select go to airport. And since our autopilot is engaged, it's bringing us to that airport right now. Now, if you didn't have the autopilot engaged, it wouldn't do that. So you, then you'd have to go in, autopilot simulator, you'd have to hit, make sure NGL selected, engage autopilot, click OK, and then we would be headed towards that. Now, so you can see here that our we're, we're inside of our uh, flight box. We can see that we're headed in the right direction and we're right on track here. So let's go to uh, another airport. This time we're going to do it a little bit differently here. We're going to select a GPS. Now these are the nearest airports. So we're going to go to Tahoe Truckee. We can see that. We're going to select go to airport. And you can see how we're it immediately uh, put our flight path there. We're trying to fly back to our line right here. It's pointing to where we want to go. And our autopilot is bringing us right back um, into our flight box here. Now, what we can do if we want to, we, go, we can go to Menu, 3D View Setup. We can go down here and uh, not have this highway in the sky. We can get rid of, the, rid of our boxes. The boxes are kind of nice, showing you exactly where, where you want to go. Okay. And here we're going to go in and notice um, we're head in that direction. Our arrow is pointing in the direction of the of the airport. We're, we're showing our uh, Truckee here, estimated time of arrival, um, estimated time in route. So let's go ahead and select. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and autopilot simulator. We're going to go ahead and unengage that. Okay, so we've got our autopilot unengaged. Now we're going to go in here to GPS nearest. We're going to select Lake Tahoe Airport. We're going to select go to airport. So we can see now that um, our arrow is pointing to South Lake Tahoe Airport. And we're getting further and further away from our path that we want to go. So we're going to go in here, simulator. Autopilot simulator, we're going to engage that autopilot. And we're making our turn here. So now we're headed for South Lake Tahoe Airport. And we notice here if we go to our different screens, you can see our original path there is our, our magenta line GPS position. We can see how we're headed right now with our green line. And as you can see, we're trying to fly back to our original path here. And that's what we're doing. If we, go to, if we go back in menu, 3D highway in the sky, we're essentially trying to fly back to that as you can see here. So off to the left, was our, which is our original path. Here's our, our original path. Here's the direction we need to go to get there. And our autopilot is trying to fly us back to that original path that we chose. And as we continue on here, we can see that we're flying right back into that path. Now, once we do that, our, everything's going to be lined up. And we're going to be headed right for that airport. So let's try another uh, nearest airport. Let's go to, let's go down a page here. We'll go back to.
Reno International. We'll hit that. We can see that our frequency is there. So again, our autopilot is taking us back to Reno. Okay. <clears throat> and again, we can see we're trying to get back to our original GPS selected line. We can see how we're looking pretty good here at 10,000 feet. We've got some mountains here. Let's look. Now it looks like we've basically got a problem here to get to, to get to Reno uh, with a mountain right here. We can see that with at our straight path here. And we can also see uh, the Reno International Airport Class C airspace right here. And then it looks like we're back on uh, the proper path here to get to Reno. And originally, we must have been headed towards this peak right here. But now we can see that we're uh, from here and from our other uh, a train screen, we're looking pretty good here to get to Reno. So there's your lesson three is a set a waypoint and fly to it by searching for that waypoint and hitting the autopilot to get there. You can also, once if you didn't have the autopilot going, autopilot simulator, if that was disengaged, Okay, so now our autopilot is disengaged. If we went down and selected another airport and we were going to go back to Truckee Tahoe, select that airport, okay, we can see that Truckee Tahoe, we know that our bearing would be 303. So if we went ahead and selected our went back to our simulator, show GPS, we went back into heading, would be 303. Now we should be headed to Truckee Airport. Now you notice that our autopilot is not trying to steer us back towards our, our uh, highway in the sky here. And it's off a little bit here. And of course, if we wanted to get back to that, we'd fly to the right to get back on our course here. And if we go back in, with that being our waypoint, sensor simulation, autopilot simulator, we're going to go ahead and engage that. There we go. So it's So now our autopilot is going to be trying to fly us more towards our original selected path. Well, there we go. There is your lesson three for setting a waypoint and flying to it in a number of different ways. We'll go to lesson four, which is perform a cross-country flight from your local airport.